Hello everybody, my name is Ray and welcome to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy! As much as I like this game already, um, I've only seen like the first main level. Uh, of course, Terms of Agreement. Yada 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 yada. This is prior, this is not meant to sold separately. Yada yada yada. <laughs> I do like the last one. The, uh, the last line. <clears throat> we do no longer. We don't. Sadly, we don't um, offer since September first, two thousand fifteen, any more Activision accounts to customers that live in Russia. If I'm correct, Activision is located in America. Um, in that case. They don't really like they don't really like the red army. <laughs> they don't really like the reds. But yeah. As you can see, as you probably can read, the game is in Dutch. The game is completely in Dutch. From the text to the dialogue. That means that none of you, probably, unless you're Dutch, of course, or Bel from Belgium, but otherwise, Lee, none of you can actually understand or read what is whatever is in this game. And therefore, um, I decided to not... Wait, hold on. Oh, it is all a tight rustic in the five world. Of zijn het er zes? Al een drakenleven. We hebben nu 12.000 schatten. Of al 14.000. Hoe zit het met die genastieke Noordgast? Want ik heb begrepen dat hij met een toverspreuk edelsteden in krijgers kan veranderen. Ik weet hoe het zit. Gnastic Nork is een simpel wezen. Simpel? Hij zit opgesloten in een afgelegen wereld en is geen gevaar voor het drakenrijk. Geen gevaar? Bovendien is hij lelijk. Lelijk? Zo is het genoeg! That's a lot of love letters. <laughs> I wonder who sent those. Het lijkt erop dat ik aan het werk moet. <laughs> yeah. As you guys might have heard, this is all in Dutch. This is the only issue I have with this game at this point. Look at how cool this looks. But as I said, everything is in Dutch. That's why I'm making normal videos of this game and no live stream the reason why is literally because you guys can't read or understand anything from this game if you don't speak or read Dutch and therefore it's just useless to do the live stream because that way there is no subtitles at all in this way with a normal video you guys can put YouTube subtitles on if you can and uh, it's possible to do that because <laughs> otherwise this is gonna be pretty annoying but uh, that's all I wanted to say right before I'm starting the game to play the game derp wow um, so let's go with it oh wait where are you going stay here you fatty <laughs> ah! <coughs> oh! Come on, get, go get him, Spyro! There you go. Oh, there's also a thing I never, ever, ever played the first one and the third game. This is how it is. When I was young, I had my PlayStation 1. I played Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Spyro 3, I only had a demo for it. For anything else of Spyro 3, I do not know. Spyro 1, I never played it. So this will be completely new for me. At least Spyro 1 and 3 are completely new for me. Spyro 2, I do know. 
Come on. Yeah. Woo! Um. All right. Can I? Can I zoom out or something? No. I cannot zoom out. All right. Maybe maybe you don't just play it this way. Hello. Mag je met deze ballon naar een nieuwe wereld vliegen? Oké. Okay. Um, I absolutely hate the voice of this guy. <laughs> As I said, like this, the Dutch language on in this game is just so cringy. They did the same thing when Ratchet and Clank came out. It's only in Dutch. I have one video of it and I decided I did not want to do any more videos of that game. Unless people wanted me to. I haven't had any response to that, so I didn't do it. But yeah. Simple sa simply said, if you still want to have the Ratchet and Clank videos, I'll just put them up. But uh, it's just annoying because Dutch is so super fucking cringy. From at least it is for me. It is super cringy, super cheesy, and I don't like it at all. That's why I was disappointed when I found out that there is no subtitles or change of language whatsoever. Kind of stupid for a big game company to not include language options. Oh well, let's go on. Thomas. Hey Spyro, druk twee keer op springen om te zweven. En uh, uh, wees maar niet bang. Bang? Waarvoor? Van hoge bergtoppen vallen, neerstorten op prehistorische gletsjers. Oh, daarvoor. Hehe. <laughs> This one was pretty funny actually, it was, um, I will translate this one, because he said like, double jump to start like, uh, gliding, but I don't have to be afraid to fall, if I don't have to be afraid, and Spyro is like, afraid of what? And then he was like, yeah, you know, falling from mountains on top of ancient glacier glaciers and stuff. And Spyro was like, oh. Oh. Yeah. That's a that's a thing you don't really want to happen to you. <laughs> I would not want to fall down. Let's see. There's, I know there's something hidden here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a wall. No? There's nothing hidden here? That sucks. All right, the controls are not the best ever, but they're at least better than the PS1 version. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I need to go back. Okay, I cannot do the one thing yet on the edge when I'm gliding that I am flying, that he's using his wing to go up. I cannot do that just yet. I guess I learned that soon. I probably have to, because otherwise you can never get anywhere. <laughs> like, otherwise you can't do like this and then... Uh, yeah, I cannot get up there. In, I do know in Spyro 2 you can. So I wonder how they fix that here. Alright, um... It's right here. No! Ow. Oh, that's that came, that went actually pretty far. And ow, okay, no, fine. I'll just go here then. All right, and now we go. Whoa, 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 Spyro, relax. 
I still gotta say the, the controls are not a hundred percent smooth. I wanna see what's up there. And if you hear eating noises, I am eating chicken nuggets. Because I can. And I'm hungry. <laughs> Dorps. Oh, oh, this, this is town, this is the town, uh, town square. Let's go there. I don't like it when all the text is also in Dutch. Because I don't recognize the names in Dutch. I, I only recognize them in English. Let's see. Bam! Face first. Aww. Yeah! Die, chicken! I do have the new music on. I could choose between the new and old music. I decided to use the new music. I, do, I like the new... Oh, that's... That looks cool. Hello! <laughs> look at that, look at that, cool. Nils. Hello? Welcome up a Dorpsplein, Spyro. Verken de boel door naar dat deel met de stieren te zweven. Kijk oh. maar eventjes goed rond. Huh. Um, do I want to go to the pool? No. I want these first. Yes. All right, let's see. Down with you. <laughs> oh, I, I did not defeat him. I did not defeat him when I hit him. That's interesting. Oh. Oh. Okay, extra lives, that's cool. Ooh, that's water, I think. Is this water? I suppose this is water, but it could also be the eternal damnation of the void, which means I would fall down and die. Bedankt, Spyro. <laughs> het puntje van mijn vleugel jeukte zo erg, wist je dat je het langst kunt zweven als je op de springtoets drukt op het hoogste punt van je sprong? Oké. Okay. So at the highest point of my jump, I could glide further. Apparently. That's cool. Ow. I can talk to you. Do I want to talk to you? Hi, Spyro. Oh, I can replay the dragon animation. That's cool. Nah. That's... Why are you showing your butt to me like that? <laughs> ah! Alright. Ow. Okay, you! Up there! I'm going to, I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> did it just <laughs> did it just stay this way? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, I'm just gonna murder you too. Just complete annihilation. Oh, easy. Too easy. Um, Pyro, 
Heb jij hier een man in het blauw zien rondrennen? Hij is een dief en hij heeft een drakenei gestolen. Je moet hem vinden en, en dat ei terughalen. Rennen, rennen! <lacht> Ik zag een beetje buiten aan. I want that chicken though. That looked good. No, I don't want to go back home. Alright, so I have to find a way up. How do I find a way up? Yes, up there. No. Not there. Ah. Okay, so I probably have to do it that way. Ah, come on. Okay. One more time. You would think that they had a way... Ow. Okay, that was just dumb. Oh, no! So close! So close! Alright. I did not <laughs> I did not push it a second time. Camera! Jesus! No! I said like one more time, but um, meanwhile I tried it like five times. I suck at this! What? Spyro, use your use your Pause, claws, thingies to grab the ledge, please. Oh my god, you're seriously not going to be able to do this. Come on, man. I cannot, like, fly up at the edges. Come on, man. You're not going to be able to do this otherwise. I'm just hugging the wall and I can't do it. What is going on here? Do I have to climb this? No. I cannot climb this. That's... This is all cool. This is cool. Um, okay, I don't even have to direction it to do that. I'm still figuring out buttons. Finally, good lord, that's a lot harder than I wanted it to be. Oh my god, dude, I will not be able to do... Where are you? I will not be able to get this guy. I cannot do... I can't run after him and do the whole camera stuff. The camera is killing me. It's really hard because I have to pr I have to run in directions. I have to press I have to press square and then I have to do the fucking camera at the same time. And I'm going to fail this again a million times. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? 
This is... This is such bullshit. Oh, now it does work. No! You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Look at him, mocking me from up there. I'm gonna murder you, buddy. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to annihilate you. Put you on a fucking barbecue. Grilling your ass. Why is this a thing? Why is this a fucking thing? You can just, you can barely do this. Come, oh my god, I need to do the directional arrows for this. What? Where are you? What, you fucking? Oh, that little piece of shit. Alright, alright, alright. I'm going to roast your ass, buddy. As soon as I get up there. This is, uh... Take a god damn it, you fucking building! Oh man, this is so frustrating already. And I just started! Come on, come on man, seriously. This is stupid. I did not even see that, and I did it. Nice. No scope that motherfucker with flames. Now I'm gonna go back up there because there was a section that I could jump to. And of course it's never going to work in the first time. Of course it's... Whoa. That's not a trophy, getting four of them in one go? That would be a nice trophy. Okay, I took too long to go straight. Wow. This is uh, hard, to, hard to watch, probably. And even harder to play, because man, am I getting frustrated because of this. Eat the butterfly. But yeah, man, the graphics are awesome. They look so gorgeous. Look at the sky. <sighs> Come on, Spyro, who can do this? You piece of shit. You deserve every time that you hit the wall with your face. You deserve that. Oh my god. Why did they make it so high? Why did they make it so high? This doesn't make any sense. Come on, man. Seriously. What am I doing wrong here? I'm, I'm obviously doing something wrong. <gasps> oh, that's fine. I saw my... I saw Spyro going more to the left. To not hit that fine. <laughs> This is so frustrating. Um, yeah, I want the guide. Okay, 73%. I need one more dragon and 68 gems? 
Where in the hell am I gonna get the 68 gems? What? This this game makes less and less sense every time. Every, every second it makes less and less sense. There's no science in that. Make it already! Good lord! Jesus Christ! Man! This is gonna get pretty damn frustrating. I can tell already. Okay, so... Ah! Good, that's eight. Sixty more to go, good lord. <gasps> I almost fell down. I almost... Shut up, phone! Shut up, phone! What do you want? Uh-huh. Wait, that's not even my post. Fuck off. I was already looking like, what is this person talking about? It's not even my post. Oh. I see. Oh. So it was up here. Oh, that's cool. 200. And the last dragon. This must be 100%. Or... Je kunt altijd via het pauzemenu je voortgang controleren in de gids. Oké. Okay. Yeah. Also, I was going to say that I was going to livestream everything and then make separate videos for 100%ing everything. But since I'm no longer live-streaming this because of the stupid language bullshit and the subtitles and stuff, I'm just gonna make videos and I'm going to 100% every level. So, yes, even if I take four hours or like four to five episodes of this game just le in one level, do know I am 100%ing it. That was cute. I'm going to 100% everything. Not the game itself. Um, to get the 100% trophies, I will just do in my own spare time. But I will get the levels in the game 100%. Yee! By that said, let's go home. I said let's go home. Thank you, Spyro, for listening in one go. <laughs> Hell yeah! So... Artisans was in 50%. So I still got some stuff to do there. Okay. Let's see what I can do there. What do I need for this? Um, 124. Oh, wait, no, 24. Okay, 24 and 3 eggs. That's fine. I also have, I can see, 22 minutes playtime. That's nice. That's nice to know that the game is actually keeping track of that. That way I kinda know how long I'm recording. That's interesting. Okay, so there's this maze. Let's see. I already had those. I had this. I'm going to this level next, but first... Ooh, I like those little balls. I'm not sure what to make of it, but... Ah! A skill point? Hold on. What do I do with skill points? Okay, this is pretty nice. I need to... Okay. Reach the... Reach the hard-to-reach platform. Okay. Oh, Stonehill. Oh! 
I need, oh, I need to get all the, the bulls stuck. It's the third one. Okay, the third one is the town square. I need to get all the bulls stuck by ramming them. That's cool. Oh. Okay, collect the skill points. All part one and two of the art gallery to, oh, to unlock. Art gallery, oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's actually really nice. But that means I have to go back to this dumb place that I just tried to do and failed to do at least 30, 40, 30, 40 times. All right. Come on. Yeah. Nice, more levels. So that means I have to go back to this level. Okay, going back to the level to get all the bulls stuck. I want that art gallery. I'm really excited to see what is in the art gallery. Art, obviously. But I just wanna know for sure, like what kind of art. Yeah, I know, game, thank you. Ah. I already have a hard time starting this level, good lord. Ah. This is gonna be a long hour for people. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get you stuck. Gonna get you stuck. <laughs> okay, I need to actually get up here. That sucks. Yes, yeah, sir, screw you. Yeah, go away. Nobody likes you. Oh, don't do that. Go away. Shut up, phone. <laughs> They're all black. All right. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Ah, control. Oh my God. Running with the arrows is the worst thing ever. I'm not even going to try. Screw you, man. Ah! Cool. Skill point. Yes. That's awesome. Really easy. At least as long as I don't accidentally flame one. I really like Spyro. He looks awesome. I just wish it was in English, because the Dutch the Dutch Spyro just doesn't sound that good. Alright, let's go up the up. Let's see what you do have to tell me. Nestor? Hello. Dank dat je mij hebt bevrijd, Spyro. Bevrij tien draken bij de kunstenaars en zoek dan de ballonvaarder. Hij brengt je naar de volgende wereld. En Gnasty Gnork dan? Ik ga achter hem aan. Zoek eerst de draken. Meer kan ik niet zeggen. What? So gotta rescue 10 dragons. And then I can go to the to the next world if I want to. But Delbin! Ik steek hem in de fik! 
Du is rustig, Spyro. Je moet nog veel leren. Weet je eigenlijk wel wat die libel doet die je volgt? Uh... Dat is Sparks. En hij kan je helpen en beschermen. Let op hem. Dan snap je wat ik bedoel. All right. He told me that Sparks is protecting me. And I have to take care of him. Don't worry, Sparks. You look cute. I will take care of you. Anyway, the other guy said that I had to find 10 dragons. And Spyro was like, but what about Nasty Nork? And, uh, and the other dragon was like, no, just find the dragons first. And I was like, okay, you're the boss. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> is that a tr is that an actual trophy? Okay. It doesn't say anything. Hey, oh. Torch the hidden ro pink tulip. Wait, that is not this one, I guess. Oh well, we're just gonna do this one. I guess. All right. Oh no. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I don't see any of these. Uh, there's only page two, though. There's our four. Um, it doesn't say anything about sun, sun, sunny something. Whatever. Whoa, oh man, this is gonna suck. Oh no, the controls are so shit. Oh no, the controls are so shit. Oh no. This is like a fucking plane pulling backwards just going up. Okay, I need to concentrate on that. And I made a few mistakes on charging instead of flaming. This is not gonna help me at all. Haha! Uh, yikes! No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, I hate this already! <laughs> oh no! Alright, what if I... Yeah! Screw you, mate! Alright, let's get those things. I said... Ugh, whatever. Who am I kidding? I'm not gonna make this. Alright. Wow, that one is pretty damn far. Did I miss one? I think I missed one. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. And in the water. I'm gonna try it again with the arrow keys. Maybe that does work better. Let's see. Okay, I can actually control this. Slightly better than with an analog stick for some dumb reason. That's actually pretty dumb. He says as soon as he starts to fuck up. Jesus. No. 
All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's get things done, I suppose. That was stupid. Wow! How is anyone supposed to do this in time? This is so stupid. All right, let's do this one first. No! Oh. No, you stupid fucking dragon! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, the controls are pretty shit. I think I should do the thingies as last. The, 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 the trains. Because those are like... Those are like the easiest ones. And it's the hardest one to actually go from the trains to anything else. Alright. was doing so good I'm gonna I've gotta come back when I am better at the controls darn it darn it so close yet so far all right so come here get home Oh, of course, water hurts, obviously. Come here, you tasty snacks. Oh, pink tulips. Oh. This is, this is not part of, this is not part of the guide, right? No, Artisans is the platform. Which one is it? It's Stonehill with the hidden red pink tulip. Wait, wait, is that one here? Hello! <laughs> Noob. No, this is Dark Depths. Okay. We're gonna go with this one. I wanna see the level. Ooh, night! I like that. Let's see. By the way, this is all blind. This is the first playthrough of this game. <laughs> in case I never was clear on that. Just in case. Just in case. So cut me some slack and I'm not the best of it. And if you're going to be annoying about it, well, sucks to be you. This is my channel, my game. So, haha. -ha. No. Go away, frog. Ooh. Can I knock it over? That answer is apparently no. Huh. Nope. You thought you could beat me? Ow. Ah. 
I need a key. I like how these guys have now shields and swords. Ah. <laughs> oh, those shields are not going to work for you guys. They think they're clever. Like, those guys think they're probably very clever using metal shields, but no! You don't need fire to do this. Wait, how do I get there? Can I climb on something? Oh, I have to do it from there. Hello. Ooh, I flamed this face. This place looks awesome. Look at the candles. Ooh. Go away, frog. <clears throat> this is great. Although that plant is clipping through the bookcase. Oh, there are even letters on the fla on the plants. I said, go away, frog. Nobody wants to be your friend, Mr. Frog. Ooh. Ooh, there's something over there. And hidden tulip, by the way. A hidden Oh wait, this is this is not the right one. Hold on. Derp. Um there is nothing about this. Part one and two. What? There's nothing else here. Hmm. There's enough. Just saying nothing about this level. Okay. There's nothing in this level, apparently. This is not Stonehill, by the way. Wait, there should be a key. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe the dragon has info about the key. Because those dragons are like the first in the in the PS1 version. They give you info about things. Darius. Hello. Grote vijanden zoals deze gnork met een knots kun je niet verslaan door te rammen, maar wel met vlammen. <laughs> Oké. Okay. That was that was pretty fun. I am going to be quiet by the way, um whenever anyone is talking. Because uh otherwise the YouTube um YouTube is gonna be pretty annoying about oh my god, hello. <laughs> I flamed his butt. Yeah, YouTube's um, uh, subtitles are going to be pretty fucked up if I talk during the whole talking. He no, ow. Go away, dumbass. He did hit me, though. I don't like it when the big guys have metal metal armor and shields and stuff. That's a key. That's a key. Yes. Ooh. I oh, dangerous water. I want to know what they're going to do because I hear I heard about some stuff that like with Crash Bandicoot, the game developers did do the originals. But they made some custom levels that they made for themselves. So I wonder if Toys for Bob is going to make DLC levels and then, you know, add them in. Because I am definitely going to buy those. If those are like new, unique levels, I am definitely willing to pay for that. If it's at least enough levels for the money, I'm not going to pay 5 to 10 euros for two levels. 
I want I want the whole home world. Spyro, wil je geheim horen? Gebruik actie om in te zoomen en rond te kijken. Oh, ik bewaar je geheimje wel. Okay. So as I said, I am not willing to pay 10 uh, 10 euros for like, I don't know, two levels. <laughs> I don't know. I want a whole home world with four to five levels. Just like this, you know, like just like artisans. It has like five levels or so, and one flying level. And then just add it in, you know, as a DLC in the home world itself. Because that would be great. There is something up there. I d how did I not see that? Go away, frog. Huh? All right. I do like Toys for Bob, by the way, for the fact that they did listen to the community during the development of this game. Oh, yes. When people said, like, the dragons, the dragon egg animations were too short, uh, they fixed it by actually making them longer in Spyro 3. And some, th and some other little things they changed up when they got feedback from the community. So that's pretty cool. By the way, I want a statue of this, like a crystal dragon. I would love that. Yeah, okay, I'm going to save you. Don't worry, Alban. Hello? Oh, jij bent het. Ik vroeg me af of je aan die irritante wezentjes kon ontsnappen. Mij zouden ze niet lastig vallen, maar ik heb een tip. Hun metalen panzer is vuurbestendig, maar met een boostaanval schakel je ze wel uit. I found all the dragons. Cool. 100% level. Nice. Then I can go home, I suppose. So, he just gave me advice about the metal armor and the metal shields, which I already knew because I'm an old Spyro player. I played the second game in when I was younger, so that's knowledge I already knew. But for those who don't know, which um, then you must be a new player because anyone who played the PS1 games they know about all this armor stuff <laughs> They know. Oh, they know They know You could call me a Spyro senior And that part Hell yeah Whoa. Okay, guide. Okay, 40 minutes. I need one more dragon and 10 more gems. Okay. <gasps> no, I missed all of them. Darn it. Okay, this is this is Stone Hill. Oh, with the tulips. Oh, that's cool. Okay, where's that last dragon? It's not here, so I suppose it must be here, yes! And we got the last gems. Oh, Spark, for those who don't know, Sparks is also very handy to pick up gems for you when you get close to one. If you lose Sparks, um, you have to collect those gems by yourself and that means like you have to be more accurate on where you're walking <laughs> Ooh, that dragon head looks awesome all right argus Ooh. coole flits do it nog eens the kunstenaars baas zit achter the poort achter me you kunt hem nu uitdagen als je er klaar voor bent why do they call it the artisan boss? Just call him Toasty, it literally says it. Toasty. I also heard that the bosses in the first Spyro game were pretty damn easy. Maybe that's why they made more arena-like um, 
places in the in Spyro 2 and 3. The Spyro 1 apparently has easy bosses. I don't know that because I never played it. But that's what I heard. Oof. A few more. I need to do the Sunflight again. I think it's called Sunflight. Oh well. I've got to try that one again, stupid trains. I like trains, well I don't. Shut up. <laughs> Going down. Going to turn around first. Woo. Okay, so here is the stone, the, the pink taller. E. Ooh, look at that castle. That looks great. Ow. Now I do need the sheep. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Oh! Go away. <laughs> oh, I hear you, you fucking... That mocking. That... Tedious mocking. Vietnam flashbacks. <sighs> Initiate Vietnam flashbacks. Uh, I'm not gonna take a risk by sma smashing them. I do switch between the arrow keys and the analog stick, so if you pay close attention, you might see when I use the analog stick and when I use the arrow keys. Guide, okay, 42 minutes. Yeah! Oh! Go! <laughs> I did not even see that they were covering their lower parts as soon as I torched them. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. They're like, don't look at my little weenie. Oh. Don't worry, sheep. Don't worry. Nobody will look. Nobody would care. You will end up a shawarma anyway. <laughs> Ooh. No, don't fall off. Hello, Gildas. Spyro, my friend. Will you a tip over zweven? Now and off. Druk op springen op het hoogste punt van je sprong om lang te zweven. Druk op actie om al eerder te zakken. Wait, what? But it didn't do anything. Wait, hold on. That didn't do anything, dragon. I was saying like when I'm gliding, if I press action, which is probably X, because the double X is gliding, I can go f down faster? But it doesn't do that. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. It's like a magical barrier. <laughs> Aww, but I want to go there. And over there. Aww. I do like the magical barrier though. It's really funny because in the original there were just these things. And they didn't really do anything. But now they glow up as like, no. Denied. <laughs> Aw, they thought of it. Darn it. <laughs> These things are like the stone equivalents of Gandalf. They'd be like, you shall not pass! Dunk. Well, never mind. Alright. So I can run around here. Cool. Try not to fall down, Spyro. Ooh. Hey. 
Ugh, this looks weird. Art. 